Hey guys, it is Jim. We are back. Part two, Kelly Feldhouse, AKA Sally in Cabaret. So we just got done talking about the show. Let's back up a little bit. You're initially, originally from San Diego, California. Yes. Yeah? And uh, I'm going to do it. So, <laughs> you know, Anchorman, you knew the joke I was going to make. <laughs> I looked on your, I uh, spent quite some time on uh, various and assorted pages looking you up and Stop. found uh, on your uh, birthday of yours, your mom had uh, had all sorts of different photos. Some of them were like strip photos of you. Somebody called them a glamour shot. You might even been posing with, you may oh. have two brothers or something. Oh, my dance team. Oh, I your had dance two, team. I danced with two boys to Rock and Robin, and we won all the awards in Southern nice. California when I was a kid. So somewhere in between there, you started this, it looks like, at an early age. Let's back up a second. How would you get into doing all my this? My mom. I owe everything to my mother. See, Mom? I love you. I love you. Um, she owned a performing arts studio when I was growing up. And I started dancing and singing before I could even walk. I have a picture of me in a parade twirling baton in a wagon because I was too young to actually walk. And I'm like, right, yeah. it's very, very, very funny, actually. <laughs> um, and she got me into it so young. I sang in church choir. Um, I just did anything I could to, to be in the arts. And then when I was seven, I want to say, um, I went out for a national tour. And booked it, and then Could started we back up a second? So you were seven, seven, seven and you years booked, old. Your first booked, booked your first national what tour. Booked my first national tour. What was the show? Sound of Music. Wow. And I the was The hills are tough. alive. She had the most lines. I was very excited. <laughs> Made me very nervous. I messed them up one night, and I, from then on, was so scared I was going to ruin the entire production of Sound of Music by my one line as Brigitte that I screwed up. How does it work <laughs> when you're seven and you go out? So. Does a parent travel? I know we always have children handlers, child yeah. handlers, wranglers. Um, a parent can come or a guardian. So I actually had a guardian named Melody. So my mom stayed with my sisters because I had two sisters. Um, so I went out on my own and she'd come out and visit from time to time and stay with me for a week or I'd come home in between. But for the most part, I was like a little mini adult. Wow. Yeah. With my half hour calls and my... You know, my, my after like You sitting rituals. there drinking a cappuccino. Pretty much. She's like, ready. ah, thank you, five. <laughs> <laughs> I was done. I, I was, though. I was pretty much a mini adult. I remember asking for Christmas for manila envelopes to stuff my headshots in to do my own mailings. Wow. Yeah, I was on it at a very early age. So you come back from tour. What's the next step? Um, I came back from tour, and I did a bunch of shows in California for a little bit and just remembered how much fun it was because sometimes touring becomes a bit of a job. Sure. I tour for a long time. Um, I did a few more tours as a kid, and then I um, I did Jane Eyre before it came to Broadway. So I did a lot of out-of-town openings, um, and basically I just worked professionally as an actress from seven to fourteen. And then I uh, was like, I want to have friends because you don't really make a lot of friends when you're no, that's a journeyman's on the life road. For, yeah. Your friends are like thirty, and you're like, but I'm ten. I don't get it. Um, so I went to high school, and I quit theater and went to high school. I quit professional theater but I did theater in school. But yeah, I went to high school and I joined the cheerleading squad and I was ASB social chair and like got as involved as I could. I was president of the academic decathlon team. Um, I can't even say that. I, right? <laughs> right. Um, I just really loved school because I hadn't had the opportunity to have it. Right. I was tutored in a room for two hours a day, three days a week. So it was a lot more fun going to school and seeing all the people and like having a lunch table and like, it was pretty cool. Most people hated high school, and I was like, this is everything I've ever wanted. Well, and um, it obviously worked out, because then you end up going to NYU. I did! And real quick funny story. So at NYU, my pen pal from tour was a Gavroche. Um, we had pen pals, the kids on tour. And he was a Gavroche, and he was in my class at NYU, and we'd never met in person. How and he crazy was like, is that? from Jane Eyre? And I was like, Evan? <laughs> and he was like, I was like, from Les Mis? He was like, oh my gosh, we know everything about each other, but we've never met. Wow. So it was like a weird, cool connection of what a small world this business is. Right. It's crazy. Um, and there was never a question then that this is what you were going to do pretty much, some version of this yeah, in your I life. Don't, I don't think there ever was. Um, it just kind of happened. And then I was like, oh, I like it. And I still like it. And if I ever don't like it, I'll stop. But right now, it's like the best high in the world is to like, it's like riding a roller coaster to sing a song on stage. It's amazing. Well, I got to tell you, speaking of roller coasters, like you've been on Mr. Toad's wild ride for quite some time because <laughs> you've done all sorts. I mean, the, the breadth and scope of, you know, Max and uh, Rudy and Chorus oh, Line and Legally Blonde, South Pacific. Uh, you uh, did the national tour of Wicked and you played Glinda. I did Glinda and Nessa at different points on the tour. Wow. So I got to do all sorts of things. Greece. Yes. You uh, were Jeff nominated for Roxy in Chicago. I was, 
And uh, I think what's kind of cool is that uh, you, you've been everywhere from New York to California. And then uh, when you got tired of that, you ended up in Osaka, Japan, <laughs> doing a really cool show called Trip of Love. So let's back up and go, how'd you end up in Japan? And let's talk about that show a little bit. I, so I and it came to college. do it in New York. Yeah, I was actually in college and got an audition first time. It was called Dance Beat originally. And I started out as a dancer primarily. My mom owns the studio, so I danced a lot. Um, and I went in and I was like, oh, cool. And they were like, hey, do you have any like Sandra D-ish songs? And I was like, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you my book of all my 1950s music. Um, so I sang Where the Boys Are. Oh, there you go. And it's actually go. the first song I end up singing in the show. And then you just dropped the mic and well, walked off. Right away they were like, uh, this is this is perfect. They're like, you're a little young. And I was like, okay, because she grows from 18 to 28 in the show. And at the time I was 19. So I was on the younger spectrum, but they were like, it's Japan. I think it'll be fine. So we ended up going to Osaka and we had Greg Barnes was our costume designer who designed the costume for Legally Blonde. Um, we had the most amazing design team and it was this beautiful, almost music video of a show all told through dance and song, no lines. So it was like the universal languages in Japan, which no one speaks English, they could tell through our physical movement and through the beat of the song what the show was about. So it was, it was really awesome to be in a foreign country and still be able to move people, you know, to see right. like these people crying. I'm like, you don't understand a word I'm saying, and yet you understood everything I was feeling. Um, so that was unreal. And then 10 years later, I got a call being like, hey, do you want to come do this again? And I was like, wait, what? They're like, now you're actually the right age. <laughs> I was like, perfect. <laughs> Um, and we actually had almost the original cast, almost the entire original company. Holy cow. In New York. That's totally cool. And I will say coming back to, I haven't gone back to a lot of roles. I've been super lucky to get to, like you said, all different sorts of, from a bunny to Elle Woods to a prostitute. You know, you kind of get to do all the things. Um, but to come back to a role a second time, having had years of life experience between, is so eye-opening to sing a song and be like, oh, I know what that means now. When I was mm. 19, I did not. You know, and get to tell the story just a little differently with a little more insight is a really amazing experience. You know, uh, speaking of all this, all the different places that you go and things that you do, and as I kind of mentioned, like, you're a journeyman. Well, you know, when it comes to it, you're also end up being the queen of I'm subletting and have to move on, right? I mean, and I only say that because there's so many people don't really understand some of the elements that goes into. It's not just you pick up and you came because you no, live in New York I right now. York. That you just jumped and came to Chicago with nothing. Like you still got to cover the rent and somebody's got to live there. And I that's just was part of it. Freaking out during rehearsals, everyone was laughing at me because I was constantly on my phone trying to figure out who was going to be in my apartment and how they'd get keys. And they were like. That's a lot of work. I was like, I know, but it's like $1,600 in rent a month that I can't really afford to pay while I'm here paying for other things. Um, I will say that's the beauty of Chicago. Chicago theater is unreal. The community you guys have here is so amazing and so supportive and so generous. And I love that you all get to go home. Like everyone has a home here. And I've been invited to so many people's apartments and so many people's dinners. And it's, it's just been so welcoming um, to be here. Especially Aurora, you guys are the most generous people. Cool. Well, look, there's actually other stuff, but we're getting late, and I want to make sure you're not burping on stage <laughs> because then I'm going to get the notes from. from Valley Doyle's yes. coming up. But uh, it has been nothing but a great time getting to hang out with you. Well, we'll you're, do it again soon. Yeah, we will. <laughs> and you and I are actually going to do it. I'm going to pick you up, and you're going to be oh, on the uh, River Radio. I am. And then, right uh, and then you're doing WGN with Dean Richards. Yes. So, but look, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this family, man. I'm so it's, happy and grateful that I get to be. It's so wonderful. <laughs> and so, uh, come check out Kelly and all our amazing uh, castmates through March 18th in Cabaret. And uh, look for more, because I'm sure sometime in between there, she'll be back in Chicago. I she'll hope be back so. at the Paramount. And uh, so, thank you for everything. Thank you. Come see our show. We appreciate you guys so much.